conditions are good enough to meditate. So let's meditate. They may not be perfect, but they're good enough. When the Buddha talks about contentment, he applies it to contentment with things outside. The food you get, clothing, shelter. These are areas, he says, you don't have to go struggling a lot to get things that are better. Where he has you focus your discontent is on where your mind is right now. He said the secret of his own awakening was that he didn't rest content with skillful qualities. In other words, the level of skill he had, if it wasn't good enough to take him all the way, he still wasn't content with it. He would do his best to make it better. So this is why we practice contentment with things outside, is so we can focus all our energies on inside the mind. Because right now the mind is causing itself stress somehow. But where is that? What are you doing? If you can't see it clearly, well, just get the mind really, really still. As still as you can, and still be alert. And then you'll be able to see. That's how we get past our delusions. Of all the different problems in the mind, delusion is the biggest one. We have to keep chipping away, chipping away, and the best way to see things clearly is to get really, really quiet. And that way you notice things you didn't see before. A lot of discernment is a matter of sensitivity. And how do you become sensitive to things? You get very quiet. You listen. That's when you pick up things that you didn't see before. It's like someone going into a group of people. If that person is just spending all his or her time just talking, 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 the person doesn't learn anything. It's the person who listens who learns. So as long as your mind is chattering away, chattering away, you're not going to learn anything new. You have to step back and just get really still. And that's when you begin to hear things, learn things that you didn't see before. That's when you see the stress that the mind is causing for itself, that it doesn't really have to. And when you see that and you see that it's unnecessary, you let it go of the cause and that's the end of that problem. So this is what the stillness is all about. We're not saying that thinking is bad, it's simply that you have to be very alert to what you're thinking. And the only way to be alert is to get still for a while. And when something moves, you know, and then you can do something about it. <laughs>